Have you ever heard rap music? Does your mix a lot like booty? Listen to this. Actual rap lyrics. Life ain't nothing but gritches and money. Only they don't say gritches. They say a certain word that rhymes with it that starts with a B. Welcome back to Thinking Critical. This is Wes. We've got some more comic industry news of the indie comic variety this week. Rob Liefeld is relaunching the Mighty Crusaders over at Archie Comics. Uh, this is exciting news. Archie is re-entering the superhero world. We'll see if it takes this time. They've tried to do it in the past. It's never been quite as successful as they probably envisioned it to begin with, but they definitely have a name brand associated with the Mighty Crusaders this time. Rob Liefeld is one of the few creators in the industry that can sell a comic book on his name alone, and I think he'll be able to do that. The art looks uh, very good. We also have Grant Morrison joining up with Donny Cates on his Atomahawk creative team. Uh, Donny Cates right now has a Kickstarter for an action figure. And if you go and support that Kickstarter, there's now an option where you can buy a Grant Morrison, a Tomahawk uh, comic book. You can get it digital or print. So that's coming out. And then Bad Idea has B-side comics. Do not call them backup stories. These are B-side comics. Bad Idea is, is a new um, new player on the block, headed up, head up by Dinesh Shamdasani, the former owner of Valiant Comics. He was kind of bought out by DMG Entertainment. And he is, this is his new comic book venture. I'm very excited. He's brought a lot of the best creative creators with him. Matt Kent, Robert Venditti, chief among them. But he's also brought Warren Simmons, who is his EIC, over at Valiant Comics with him as well. And I think that idea is going to be great. The only thing bad about it is that it's not available here in the Philippines. And it is the distribution is very limited. And it will not be, be available in digital comic format. Now, before I get into the Rob Liefeld Mighty Crusaders story, and Perch is going to join me for that one, I do want to say, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, give us a thumbs up. If you enjoy this video, give us a thumbs down if you don't. Either way, we want to hear your thoughts on Rob Liefeld relaunching the Mighty Crusaders at Archie Comics. What do you think about Bad Ideas, B-Side Comics, and Grant Morrison joining up with Donny Cates, the Tomahawk series, and, and penning a new comic book? Now let's welcome Perch to the channel as we talk about Rob Liefeld relaunching the Mighty Crusaders at Archie Comics. So Perch, we've got Rob Liefeld coming over to Archie Comics. I think most people think when they think of Archie Comics, they think of like uh, Riverdale and you know Archie and Jughead, Betty and Veronica, but they're bringing in back the the Mighty Crusaders. There's been a few um, iterations of this team. They've they've been at different um, different publishers. They're coming back to Archie with Rob Liefeld. Seems like a good fit. You know, he's definitely going to boost sales. Yeah, it, it should it should do well with him there. Um, I think he's he's got the team book dynamic. I mean, it's 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 not like where it was in the '90s, but he still has uh, you know that that interest and that draw. Archie would really like this team and this group of people to to work. They they want to play in the space. Yes, it's it's interesting. I, I didn't even realize Archie really dabbled into uh, superhero comics. Now the big character, obviously, we're seeing is Shield. I, he predates Captain America, correct? Yeah, that was uh, 1940, um, and you know a bunch of you know, really strong creators were on that. Uh, you know, I think Jerry Siegel. Jerry Siegel created, right? Yeah, and and I believe Jack Kirby did some work on him. I mean, there's some there's some big names uh, in there, and I mean, all these characters, well, a lot of them um, do have some legacy, but but most of them really kind of formed as a team in the 60s. And then what, what's happened is Archie about every, I would say, 15 years gives it a try again to kind of make this work the challenge is i think they make they, they always make the kind of two mistakes they, they first of all they give up very quickly so they try but then it, it doesn't last long they go for like a year or two and it seems like it, it just stops and then they also are heavily lean on the legacy like like we should know who these people were because they predate captain america because they are they're these classic characters and they they get kind of hung up in trying to remind us that they once were important rather than tell us why they're important today. Um, but, it, you know, there are some dynamic characters here and, and Rob Liefeld is going to help, I think, hopefully push them into, you know, today's age. Well, you thinking about what Dynamite did with, was it Project Superhero or was it Superpowers? Mm -hmm. Super, Superpowers, I think. Yeah, I think they were, they were able to take a bunch of uh, public domain heroes that maybe had been, been lost to history. You know, people kind of, hadn't really remembered them for a while and were able, basically able to make them contemporary and represent, rep represent them to the audience. And, and I think for the most part, people enjoyed it. So it can be done. 
Yeah, no, it absolutely can. And I, I think the key is, you know, commit to five years, for example. I, 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 I'm, I was just trying to kind of refresh my memory. I don't think that when they've done this, they've ever gone longer than two years, uh, including when DC uh, actually tried to do it. Um, and they, they created some comics in this universe and it didn't, it didn't take, but they always give up really, really quickly. And so if you're going to have a team and especially if you're going to talk about the legacy, you need to be able to do it in more than eight issues. And, and so I hope they, they give it some time, really invest, kind of build this audience and show people what's there. I mean, they, they have some interesting characters with some interesting powers and, and a lot of kind of cool things you can do. And if you've got a good contemporary take on it, I think it can definitely work. And they have a built-in audience. Rob Liefeld, he sells. You know, he's selling GI Joe with his uh, uh, was it Dead Game, right? Yeah, Same his Dead Game mini series. You know, he he was able to to uh, ship a lot of issues of uh, was it Major X as, as well. I imagine his name on a comic book is going to bring the people, and you know, the art looks fun. It should help. I, I mean, put him on it, um, give him some some billing, and then use Archie's channel where you 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 can have the comics going to places beyond just comic stores. You know, you leverage that digest format in the supermarket, and get a superhero bo book out there. Uh, it is interesting that all these times we're hearing people say that the superhero genre is dead, and Archie's saying we want to give it another go with our stuff, and and they should. I mean, there's a chance to build a real little universe out here. Well, Perch, I appreciate your perspective on. The Mighty Crusaders, Rob Liefeld from RG Comics, and I will talk to you later, my friend. Absolutely. Thanks for having me on. I definitely want to say thank you very much to Perch for joining us today. Now let's talk about the next topic. This is Grant Morrison joining up with Donny Cates, uh, a Tomahawk creative team. Right now there is currently a, a Tomahawk uh, Kickstarter campaign. It's for the Cyber Zerker action figure i think you can you can paint it up on all that stuff they've already uh meet their 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 goal of fourteen thousand dollars they've already raised eighteen thousand but just to to spice up the the campaign to add a little bit to the pot they have included a grant morrison the legend himself or is it themselves the legend themselves joining the creative team for for this and penning in a tomahawk uh comic book that will be illustrated by Ian Biederman, who has worked with the Tomahawk, or is the artist on the Tomahawk with uh, with Donny Cates. I think this is really smart. Uh, obviously, they've met their goal, but they do want to make some more money. So I think adding Grant Morrison to the team, presenting a Grant Morrison pen, a Tomahawk comic, or a comic book, is very smart. Offering it in digital and in print format, also smart as well. If you're a fan of a Tomahawk, from the days when it was at, um, what was it, Heavy Metal, I think it's over at Image. I imagine we'll see it again. I wonder if they're going to uh, actually use Kickstarter for their comic books in the future. But if you're a fan of that, how can you not back this for, for Grant Morrison's take? The legend, Grant Morrison, coming on and taking and, and putting uh, their spin on a Tomahawk, the character. I think this is really smart. Probably going to bring in a little bit of coin for the, for the Kickstarter campaign. And, you know... Obviously, Donny Cates is the hottest creator probably in all of comics. He's got the King in Black. He's got Thor. He's got Venom. He's got Crossover. I think he's still got God Country. Probably a couple other independent comics right now. So we probably did not have time to write or pen up in a Tomahawk comic book to add into the campaign himself. So you go out there, you get Grant Morris. It's not a lot of drop off there. I, and it, you know, it's a different take on the character. It's, it's a different voice. So I think that's really smart. People should be really excited about this. Like I said, that uh, Kickstarter campaign is still live. It should be live for another 11 days or so by the time this comes out. It's very exciting stuff. And best of luck to Donnie Cates, Ian Biederman, and now the newest member of the Tomahawk team, Grant Morris. Now, the last topic is Bad Ideas B-Side Comics. Do not call them backup comics. These are B-Side Stories. Obviously, they will be released with, with the main stories. We've seen all the creative teams. We've, we've seen the titles that Bad Idea has, has, has announced already. A lot of creators that I'm very, um, very fond of, Matt Kent and um, Robert Venditti being for, first and foremost above the, among those. The first B-side comic we are going to see is with like the new flagship. It's going to be the, the title that they launch the Bad Idea brand with. It's going to be ENIAC number one. And the comic, the backup, the B-side story 
don't say backup west you're gonna piss some people off the b-side story is called save now it's written by matt kent it's got um art by tomas giarello talk about an amazing creative team right there tomas giarello matt kent it does not get better than that. well maybe if it was robert medidian and tomas giarello but either way that is badass and it's not going to get much better than that Tomas Giarello is one of the best uh, independent artists out there. You know, he his work, his art exceeds most of what's being done on the big two, as far as I'm concerned. So that's going to be great, perfect place to put that. the The next series they've got coming out is called Hank Howard Pizza Detective by my favorite writer Robert Menditti with David Lampham on art. Not sure what the, which um, main series that's going to be uh, attached to. I'll be surprised if it isn't Tankers because that's the series that that Robert Menditti himself is writing. Don't know if they're going to try and um, switch up the teams. I would imagine it's going to be there. We've also got Monsters in My Life, written by Peter Milligan with Sarah Bernie, Berini on art. Uh, also interesting enough, so if you don't know this, Bad Ideas are like self-distributing their comic books. So originally they were going to be limited to, like I believe, 50 comic shops nationwide that were going to receive these comics. There was going to be no digital option for them. So they're going to be exceedingly rare and very um, in demand if you're a fan of Dinesh Shamdasani, what he did with Valiant, Warren Sim Simmons, what he did with Valiant, and also the creators that they're working with, Robert Mediti, Matt Kent, um, Peter Milligan, uh, names like that. I believe it's 250 shops now, but they had something come out that, that they sent out to the retailers that had been approved for distribution by Bad Idea. It was called The Hero Trade. That was written by Matt Kent with, da with David Lampham Art. And that is going to be included with ENIAC number three. I believe that's the B-side story there. So if you wanted to read the hero trade, but we're not able to get a hold of it, like all of us, it will actually be available in ENIAC number three. The last one is called The Provider. This is by Sean Ryan. This is an interesting one. It looks like it's like a caveman story. It looks like it's a caveman fighting a bear. Probably pretty exciting stuff. I imagine this is an opportunity to introduce new IP that bad idea is kind of working with. Maybe they didn't know if it would hit or, or how people would react to it. You know, and if people enjoy the character, enjoy the stories, I imagine they'll get the, the full uh, series treatment, maybe get a four or five part mini series, something like that in the future. Hopefully people enjoy these. Do not call it a backup story. This is a B-side story, folks. And um, I love what bad idea is doing. I like what bad idea represents. I think thinking outside of the box, I think, I think, Thinking outside of the box as far as distribution for comic books is a very good thing. Self-distribution is a is a big endeavor. I imagine it's going to be difficult at first. That's why they had it so limited to, to only 50 shops. They've opened up to 250. Obviously, that is still only 10% of the entire um, North American comic shop uh, network that we know. It, it might might be more than that now. I'm, it might be under 2,000. Who knows? We don't know what the how many shops there are at, out there right now, to be completely honest. It might be under 2,000 by now, but it is a very limited uh, cross-section of those shops that will receive these comics. Probably smart to, to, smart, to start smaller. That way, if you if you have some snafus along the way, you, you don't ruin everything, and maybe you're able to clean them up uh, at, before you start expanding. I think Bad Idea is going to be, be, be a big deal. Dinesh Shamdasani, before he was bought out, Valiant Comics was absolutely bulletproof. It was the best shared comic universe perhaps in history, certainly in modern comics. It was the most cohesive, the best executed shared universe outside of faith. Everything was was borderline amazing. If you go and read it when it relaunched, I believe it was in was it 2014. I think it was 2014. I might be, it might be 2011. It's one of those. When they relaunched under Dinesh Shamdasani, up until the, about the time when Harbinger Wars 2 launched, that's when you could really see the uh, Dinesh Shamdasani, Warren Simmons exit really affect the comics and it just went to crap after that. Nothing almost is worth reading at Valiant as far as I'm concerned. But if you go and read that, you will read just an amazing shared comic universe. That's my opinion. So big fan of that uh, bad idea. Hopefully everything goes well. And I cannot wait till they start shipping them to the Philippines and make them available here. So that'll do it, folks, for the Indie Comics News. I do want to say thank you for per to Perch for joining me today to talk about Rob Liefeld relaunching the Mighty Crusaders at uh, Archie Comics. They're getting back into the superhero game. We'll see if it takes this time. Grant Morrison is joining up with Donny Cates on his Kickstarter campaign for their Tomahawk uh, action figure. He's pinning in a Tomahawk comic book that is available in digital and print format. 
If you're a fan of the character or you're a fan of Grant Morrison, how can you not back that? The campaign is still active uh, for, for a week and a half or so. Also, Bad Ideas released their B-side comic uh, creative teams and ideas. I hope it works out. Not sure what to expect from it. Unfortunately, I won't get a read Bad Idea because I'm in the Philippines and I'm certainly not, have no access to any of the comic shops that actually have these comic books and they're not available in digital, but I think everyone's going to love them. And uh, I think Bad Idea is going to be a great idea. How's that? Also, if you, if you like Perched and you haven't subscribed to his channel, there is a link in the video description. You should do that. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. I would appreciate it very much. It helps us attract more views for the channel. Subscribe for future commentary, comic book news, and reviews. And don't forget to ring the bell for notifications. If you want to talk comics, movies, and much, much more, you can follow me on Twitter, at Wes underscore from underscore TC. With that, Salamat Po, and I'm out.